Hello everyone, my name is Kichigo and I'm back with a new episode of Tales of Vesperia. So last time we went through the desert, we fought a boss that was pretending to be Pharaoh, we defeated said boss, we passed out, and we found ourselves in the heartland town, Yarmgen. Which, if you guys recall, is the same place that that one sailor pirate adventurer guy was trying to get the crystal back to and also to be back with his lover which we somehow meet a person with the same name as the lover as well as she is constantly waiting or she's still waiting for Wang Chi but she says there's only be been three years while the journal or diary that he left on the boat says a thousand so i think we're in a time bubble and time has not been progressing at the regular speed but before we um head off to speak to the sage to see who this uh, uh christian is we're gonna go ahead and change our outfits <laughs> she entered all the outfits. Oh, look at that! That is adorable. Oh my god, you're so cute! So cute. I'll, I kind of feel bad for Flynn. Because the only outfit we, we've seen him in when he was actually a part of our party was the scuba diver teacher outfit. <laughs> so I'm just like, huh, oh well. But, and we're just gonna leave it at that. And either he's gonna be in the scuba diver outfit the next time he quote unquote joins our party, or he will be in his regular outfit. Um,. So let's see, who do I want? Do I want you as the leader? I kind of want Patty to be the leader just because I like her outfit so... Oh my god, look at that. Anyway, a town without a barrier. I had no idea there were villages in the middle of the sands of Kagor. I'm impressed they've managed to live here without a barrier to protect them. They don't even have outer walls. Any monster could destroy this village easy. I don't feel like I could really get a good night's sleep in a place like this. Ugh. I do wonder how they handle the danger of wild monsters. I guess everyone in town is just really strong. Could you be any more stupid? <sighs> yeah, they're too peaceful for that. <sighs> oh my god, this is so adorable. Oh. Anyway, I spoke to everyone before in the last episode, so we just go go straight there and speak to this person. Hmm, you're a stranger. I can't talk to strangers. Well, good on you. Your parents taught you right, because all these kids around here has been talking to me in every town they talk to me. Oh, look at that flower. It's so cute. Check. No. Cat. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Hmm. If you say so, cat. Alright. Sage's residence. Hold on. Yeah, we can't even go past this. Alright. Excuse me. <gasps> no. Way. Hey, that's. Dude, what? Sure. Doesn't his name start with a. Well, exactly. Oh, well, you're so cute. We've run into each other a couple times. You. Duke, yeah. How have you come to this place? <sighs> mm. What do you mean, how? We walked, as in across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you. How did you get into this time lat loop thing? Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? 
We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Not really. We just fought against some ghost. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. It was just me being, you know, curious and wanting to explore the whole ocean and stumbled on across a, a ghost ship. You're planning on making a barrier blast here, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage. But forget about making any Blastia. Jeez, Rita. Who would even consider building a barrier Blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Don't question the Duke. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an Apatheia? It's what you've been looking for, Raven. That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? Clearly. No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Yeah, because then the guy out front said like his father unexpectedly passed, and he's no, he's the new sh chief, not sage. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What Whoa! Are you what? Doing? Hold on a sec. Dude, what? It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock. Oh man! Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? Yeah, I returned it to the air, to the atmosphere. There's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? Does it look like this town needs to be saved from monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Yeah, they're definitely calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. Pharaoh's not no, no harm to no one. Don't pay him no mind. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Mm. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? His voice sounds familiar. There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Werewolf? Child of the Full Moon. Like in the legend. By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? Being able to use Arse without... Uh... The thing. <laughs> I want to say Blasty, but it has a different name. That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Yep. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. If he can talk, he probably definitely have the intellect to build his own town or something. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you too. 
No more questions. What were you doing at that air crane? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? I'm telling you, he's Kratos. Those matters Kratos. exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Rita, chill out, because if you force this into a boss fight, I'm going to make sure he kills you. Where do you get off? Rita. Don't be starting stuff. I'm not ready for it. Not ready. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I have no idea. I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? Hmm. I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apothea, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. Right, right, right. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. Huh, you're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Carol's like, what? She said, thank you. Right, see you then. Parted with everyone. Can we go back in and talk to the Duke? I have nothing left to say to you. Oh. He's like, dude, get out of my face. Bye. I'm leaving. You're not gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? But why was he here no, though? I go that far. Apathea? When the air crane went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was apathea nearby? Hmm, probably. And the air crane and cave mock too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. 
It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Guess he has to check the hypothesis. It's just a hypothesis. You have to prove it. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Kind of like science fair projects, when you have to come up with a hypothesis and test it. Man, science projects. Whew. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you going to do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Do you go put an apatheia nearby, even though we don't have one? Check. And he said that there's no longer a sage. So do they even know that their sage is gone? Ooh, strange mark. A crest that slightly shortens the time a mage is immobile after casting a spell. Oh. Well, let me speak to you first. No, not now. I lose my concentration. Okay. There's a really old key. It doesn't look like it would open. Hmm. Key, you say? Hmm. Okay. Do you have anything new? <laughs> oh, just go away. Do, 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 do. With the monsters really, will the monsters really stay away from us because of a little pebble, like the clear silver crystal? What if they just decide to take everything they can and kill us all? Don't get me wrong, I don't want to doubt what the sage says, but those monsters can speak the human tongue. What if they're secretly influencing the sage? Um, has anyone been in that house? I mean, mansion? Thank you so much for saving us. Okay, you guys say the same thing. Must be worried. Even now, I can see Wangchi smile. I wonder when he will come home. Hmm. So, have you spoken to the sage? He is a very nice person, so he may be willing to listen. Um. Hey, this Carol. Even if our town was perfectly safe from monsters, for the chief it would still be a temporary fix. Perhaps we should just make the sage village chief. Yes, when it when it making the sage or chief be a fine idea? I have to suggest it to the entire village. Do you guys have like village meetings and stuff? We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. Mm. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Too serene. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. Exactly. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. The Great Outdoors. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. That'd be cool. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. 
Nord of Polica. Hmm. Leader of a city. Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Don't know. In the guild town, huh? I wish I can start one. Dog. Oof. Woof woof. Woof woof. Okay. Apparently, if we construct one of these barriers, the monsters will stop coming. But is it really safe? I suppose it must be if the sage says it is. If the sage says it's safe, it's definitely safe. It would be simply outrageous to doubt the sage. Outrageous. If <laughs> outrageous. The desert? Desert. Like the places that are all sand? You came from a desert? Where is there a desert? I'm never ever s I I'm I'm never even seen a desert. I am never s even seen I'm I never even seen a desert. You must have come so far. Yeah, you need use anyway words. You're friends of the sage? I didn't know. I was wondering what you had come to do in this tiny rural town. I'm so sorry we can't prepare anything special for you. Oh yes, have you seen the mountains to the north yet? The scenery is very beautiful. Oh, uh, sure. Um, well I don't want to- I wonder if he's gonna be mean to me. The sage says he's making a- doohickey from some kind of crystal thing. Isn't that amazing? I forgot exactly what he's making. I don't really remember, but it was definitely amazing. What's so amazing about it? I already told you I don't remember. You sure are pesky. Fine, tell me what's so amazing about the ocean right now. You can't, can you? Uh, pff, boy. Ow. Mmm. Good talk. Gruff? Okay. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. Hmm. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Antilochia, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. Me neither. <laughs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. I'll think about it. Hello, I'm here to... At 13,000. I already spoke to him. 
So let's go up this way. Say, have you ever been to the Coliseum? They said the atmosphere there is like a banquet of madness. Is it true? What? You actually fought in the Coliseum? I can't believe you stepped out in one piece. Looks certainly can be deceiving. What kind of crime did you commit? What? Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Yes. Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. Trustworthy, you say? You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. Uh, yeah. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but no one would never ever but know. The brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? No. In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Yep, we'll just collect all of you and just anyway, take you. just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. We'll be a responsible old man, adult. Don't be so cold. I may be old, but I'm a very sensitive guy. If you say so. So this is Chief's son. The truth is, the villagers' faith in me has been wavering because of the sage's help. I'm not sure whether to be grateful or perturbed. It's a strange feeling. And the fact that they said like the village chief died unexpectedly, I'm just like, if you guys have been like in time freeze, how could he die unless he was murdered or something? Anyway. I hear you people have brought us the clear sail crystal. With the power of the crystal, our village would be safe from any monster. Now our village would be internally safe from the monster's menace. We owe everything to the sage. I am so thankful. Hmm. If you say so. There she is, coming You're from outside the out, village. Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Just out on a walk, straight back into the desert. Only a walk. Oh, I see. Back into the Doesn't desert. It seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently. Yes. No, must be your imagination. It's not. I know what I'm seeing. Did that white armor really look that strange on me? Hmm. Wait, hold on. Are you implying I have bad taste? Oh, I didn't read it. They'll start to worry if you don't start pulling yourself together. Guess this would do. You got it. Uh, I think I've spoken to everyone. No, where's Patty? Patty. They must be inside the inn then, because that's the only place I haven't gone into. Yep. You're all wearing such unusual clothes. We don't really see anything like them around here. Did you come from very far away? No, I got these from... Stuff. Is your food very different as well? 
I love to hear some recipes from your hometowns. Great. Speak to me, yo. Would you like a skewer? Sure. Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? Where you pulled that from? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. So maybe were you a, an adopted granddaughter? Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not. But I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Yeah. I, but... You're used to it, huh? I, I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. I'm so glad you're so positive. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mm. Mm. This is good. Bad, you're gonna teach us the recipe. Didn't I tell ya? Yep. Wait, no, she got earned a title. That was about to learn the recipe. Nah. Patty earned the dry eyed dame title. How'd you like another score? Yeah. No. This. Oops. I can't look at it. So, well, not yet. Um, I've spoken to everyone. How about resting after a hard day's work? Would you like to stay for 50, 50 gold a night? Oh, well, I guess it wouldn't be that much. I'm actually surprised this place even has an inn. Yeah, sure. Please come again. We look forward to serving you next time. Oh. Well, they are gone. Yeah, Patty is gone. Hold on. I'm gonna save. So they must be at the entrance then. Yep. Glad you could make it. Mm-hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was resting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. I mean, there's no other way for you to survive. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! So it sounds like we're heading back to Nordapolica. I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is. Bellius? Yeah. Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordapolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Well, not friends. Huh? Friends? Well, uh... He wishes. It's Nordapolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. And that's assuming he's still in Nordapolica, of course. True. Probably moved on somewhere else. 
I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were attacked by the Antilochea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antilochea and the Colosseum? Yes. I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antilochea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, mm. we'll pass through the Wiesent of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Yay! Right! First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. Yeah, they hated her. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Please. Hi, that I will. Thank you. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. Are you sure that's the right moon? I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Oh, that would suck. Reunited with everyone. Okay, so since we're going back through the thingy, the desert, um... Yeah, I think this would be fine. Mm. Carol's really behind. And I'm not really sure why he's so behind. Does everyone have that EXP thing? Um, I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, so we're still learning on everything. Um, pretty much. Hold on. Well, let's see the clear seal crystal. Can a clear seal crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. I'm um, trying to see. All oh, right, they didn't have any weapons not equipped synthesis harpoon halberd yeah there's not and we're not able to get this one because hmm Weird that we haven't fought one at all. Hmm. Yeah, I will. Thanks. Hmm. Unless we fight one on the way back, but. Yep. Everyone's healed, right? Good. And what do we have for our cooking? Got the curry, got the Sunsbury steak, got cake, and fish with miso sauce. And those should be pretty close to, um, wait a minute. Oh, there's bones up there. Which way am I even going?
I'm just kind of running around at this point. Nothing here, right? Because what's... What's over here? Because now we're on the map. Oops. I did it again. Do you have fire off? Okay, just making sure. All right. Do you just use fire? Oh my god! Oh, okay. She learned two skills at once, so let's see. Um... Nope, it wasn't that. She learned something. It wasn't that. Maybe it was this one? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Duke. Duke certainly has an air of mystery about him. He's a real man. Hattie prefers masculine fellas, I see. I thought he was pretty cold. Would it have killed him to listen to us a little? Maybe he was caught off guard. He did just kind of show up out of nowhere. Did one of us say anything rude to him? Probably you, Rita. Ha! Ow! Ow! Hey! No hitting! I wonder if he's always lived here in Yongen. Who knows? I didn't get the feeling he'd been here all that long, though. Duke is pretty weird, but this whole town is pretty weird, too. It is weird, but you can live a quiet, comfortable life here. True. It is, uh, pretty chill. But at what cost? Oops. Ow. There we go. Feels close you are. There we go. That's what happens when I get serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we don't need anything yet. Oh, level up and a new skill. So let's see. So that was Carol. Um, so he's still learning. Okay. I don't want him to be the leader. Hmm. Like, what's this way? There's definitely something here. Question mark. We can't do anything with it, though. Because probably somewhere that uh, we're not supposed to go yet. Because it didn't even give me an X to hit. Ow. Go. All right, here 
Maybe I should change the... Because I kind of do want to see what their over limits look like. Well, not the over limits, but... Yeah, they can't even use their blast arcs. Um, just use under critical moments. Because sometimes you can get it into a critical moment. So that way, yeah. I mean, granted, we never get into critical moments that much. I wonder what was be considered critical then. I can go up here. So let's go down. Well, there's nothing down this way. Hey! Dang it! Oh well. That's okay. What is that? Ow. I just spammed th that button. Um, oh, not that. Okay, she is still learning. Um, and we need to do paralysis on her. Now, let's use the art instead. Recover. There we go. Because I'd rather not use uh, an item if I can help it. Since I don't have that many. There's a bone thing up here. A uh, boar fur, fur feather. The stiff coat of a boar, not suited for making human clothing. Oops. Paralysis powder, basilisk uh, scale, dangerous powder that can paralyze one when inhaled, often used for powerful venisons. A very harsh skill compared to that of other monsters. It's as if it were made of stone. Looting. Uh, da, 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 da. No. Now what are these thingies? This look like, like it should be something. Nope. Nothing. No secret places. Because I guess the reason why I keep on checking around as well. Oops. 
is because in Tales of Sophonia, they would have like these highlighted glowing areas where you can get like an additional skit. So that's why I keep on looking. But I'm not sure if that mechanic is in this game. Ow. There we go. Yay, first time kick cooking cake. Making cake. Cooking? Ooh, level up. New skill. Mm, and that was her. Hmm. Oh, come on now. Oh. The side of victory. Yeah. All right. Hey, that kind of hurt. Jeez, girl. Oh, he leveled up. Actually, let me see. Okay, it's so only two available. Two, two, zero. And let me make sure she doesn't have... Yeah, we don't need her to have that on. This is already on her weapon. Well, we don't escape battle that much. Uh, TP, HP, dream couple. Decreases TP conception. That basically always happens. Um, I would like for her to be able to stun people. Um, anything else? Oh, we don't need taunt on there. Okay. So now she has... Well, I guess for the occasional... Well, no. Let's give her some more TP then. And sticky fingers, I guess. Um, uh, four. Minimum ja damage inflicted would be reduced to one. Oh. Wait, damage inflicted would be reduced to one. So that means she will. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Damage inflicted. I'm sorry, like, my brain is telling me that damage dealt to her will be reduced? Or is it saying that damage that it, she does to other things is reduced? Hmm. Oops, I didn't want to go through that one yet. Because these are attack. Right. That means that she's doing... Hmm. I'm confused. Critical guard. Magic. Spirit master. Invade. Recover. Lucky soul. Hmm. Ha. Okay. Combo plus. That's already on the weapon. Steel plus. Increases the success rate of thievery. Um. 
random thrower. Full check. XP share. That's on the weapon. That's on the weapon. Huh, he doesn't have guard plus on here. Critical guard. There. Okay. Strength T. Magic, a life force, increases the strength of a spell when a light bow is equipped. Hunter increases attacks and lessen damage received against aerial enemies. Hmm, that would be really helpful. Um. Mm, long step, long range. Okay. Life up. Okay, I just want to make sure, but I'm thinking that she is doing less damage now. That's what I'm thinking. So just give me one second. Okay, so my thought was, assumption was correct, is that they do do less damage. Um, so, and that's why, and that's why I saw, started seeing Yuri just doing half, like literally one hit point of damage. It's because he has it on his weapons. Um, so basically until I get them learned, he's going to be doing one damage. And at look, I don't really want to deal with my people not doing enough damage against enemies. So I'm gonna take the the stuff off on the other party members that have learned it already. And once I get the notification that they've been learned, I'm definitely gonna switch um weapons. <laughs> So I won't be using it anymore. So yeah, um, unfortunately we will just be doing one point of damage for however long, um, much longer, but definitely on everyone else, it is going to be taken off properly. Um, I can take that off. Um, oh, hey. Item thrower. I'm gonna have to wait. Because you know, I kind of want her to have... Well, no, she already have uh, auto medicine too. So, that's fine. But yeah. Everyone else... You, no. Take that off. Take that off. You... Mm -mm. No. No to that. Uh, let's see. Spell charge. That's on the combo magic there uh, life healer I'm definitely gonna put that on once I get five more points um I don't think she had it so it was mostly these guys she's doing heavy hit but doing one damage or whatever so mm. Um, that's ridiculous. Um, but, but from what I read, you know, to kind of challenge you a little bit or make it easier to 
grind, I guess, for grade and doing fatal strikes and all that, or getting the secret missions and bosses, but really, I don't want to do one damage. <laughs> um, I'll save that for like another playthrough, and that's only would be if I really want to do that to myself, which probably would not be the case. I'll just take it as is, but... And now I'm trying to see, did I already have that during that boss fight? Like, I'm trying to see, when did I start noticing uh, that I was doing one point of damage? And I think it's been going on for a while, ever since I switched to this weapon. But yeah, the moment I learned that is being taken off with the quickness. Yeah, we're not doing that. Nope. No, sir. Kichigo pre prefers her enemies to be promptly destroyed. Not taking forever. Oh, this is so bad. Like, who wants to see... Am I d out of things already? Wow, okay. That means I'm out of... Oh, yeah. It feels wonderful. Level up. New skill. Luckily, that that you mentioned that, Yuri. That you have learned new skills, Yuri. Wait, are we still learning another one, though? No, okay, we, we learned them all. Alright, good. Good. Very good. We get taking this off. Luckily, it was a weak one, because I would have been quite upset if that was one of the sh stronger ones. And I think... Nope, we still have a few things in the swords, but the axes are done. So, let's do... Ooh, look at those numbers. Let's do... Let's do this one. And we're going to be learning FX, well, Fatal Strike, Bonus 2, and Over Limit, Concentrate. Cannot be stunned during Over Limit. Oh, that's nice. Put that on. No more doing one damage. Actually, there was... Someone else learns all of their stuff. Uh. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um. You gotta be doing one damage for a bit. Don't worry about it, though, okay? Don't worry about it. Oh, this one. Okay, you still learning on that one. Alright, so I guess what I can do is just switch out and use someone that is not doing half damage. But I really like using Patty, though. Hmm. What haven't I used? I don't use Raven that much. But I think I need to use someone that is more close range. So, let's see. Maybe I should go back to Carol. Here, Carol. There. There, Carol. Um, you're not learning anything weird, are you? Okay. I need to go this way. It's good not to have the... Ooh. Ow, come on, leave me alone.
What was that girl? That was easy. Oh, look at that big Q sword. Hmm. There. Oh, I was trying to see what am I out of that I am not able to make any more cake. Ha, huh, milk. Right, because we wasn't able to buy any more milk at the store. Hmm. So it seems like we probably end up coming back here eventually to do something with those rocks. And maybe next time we'll be able to fly. Oh, that should have been red. Ah. So Our weapons are blades. Magic and teamwork. That's wonderful. Oh, that's new. Um, let's see. Okay, we're back into the desert. Uh, let's see. Is this the desert? Because what is that right there? Enter the desert. Um. Yeah, she's already like a quarter there. He leveled up. Okay, so this is the actual desert. What's this? Interesting. Okay, so this is the entire area. Oh, I can go up here even. Interesting. I feel like we will come back to that thing right there too. Ugh. So basically, you can decide to either just travel the desert via map or as an actual dungeon and having to worry about the heat and stuff. But that's cool. So it's similar to like almost like a 
a short shortcut where you don't have to take nearly as long to get to where you're going. Well, that's nice. I do appreciate that. Okay, so she learned a skill too. Okay, so we're still learning that one. There's nothing over there. I mean, I just hope that I got... So the three treasure chests that I got the first time, I'm just hoping that that's all of them. But this thing right here, though, this definitely seems like... Why does it seem like we didn't get the entire desert? Oh, because we didn't. Because there's a walk plate path here. Yep. This is how we get to the other skeleton. Yeah, I think at this point... Don't you dare come over at me! was looking at the map. I won't lose. Ooh. So tired of those thingies. The most annoying. Here we go. Okay, I was trying to hit the R2 button. Huh. <sighs> These are the threads that weave our future. Okay, so she got a new skill. Okay, so we're still learning that. Um Desert Iron Sands. Sand with iron from the desert continent much harder than ordinary iron sands. Some more. Okay. Anyway. Excuse me. Um, I think we got everything from this area. Of the desert, anyway. I'm trying to get to a safer spot. Um, like, it looks like I should be able to go further south. But not really. Like, is there... Oh, that should have been red, but I'm also okay with it not being. I'm so done with these spiders. I hate spiders. Ow. I need milk. Everyone needs... Everyone needs... Mana. Yeah, see? Is there dealing with the heat? So hot. 
There's no shade or anything. Uh, oh. What's the matter, Captain Carol? Maybe it's so hot he can't speak. You're already pooped? Weak. And you're also much younger than me. Would you shut up? Aren't you hot under that thick coat, Raven? Nah, this clothing is kind of special. Let me borrow it. Ah, my boy. If you're really suffering that much, I'll gladly lend you my stinky, sweaty clothing. My boy. Never mind. The heat is at least better than your stench, old man. <laughs> so, is there really... Oh, he had a question mark. Like, what was that? So, I can't get up there. Yeah, the other ones is over there on that island. So, I will have to wait until I have flying capabilities to get to, ooh, ooh, to get to those other things. So I wonder those parts that it would turn like nighttime or whatever, was it just the, the clouds going above, uh, over everything? Did I go up there? No, I didn't. Well, there's nothing there. But I do see a skeleton over here. So basically, you had to go this way because you want to have been able to get up here from the actual desert, desert part. Go dust. Interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, did that just respawn? Hmm. I'm getting lost in the desert. Okay. I'm now able to move on now. But I have a feeling that we're going to be able to come back to this. I don't know what this is. Because we can't go into it now. But it definitely looks like some sort of structure that... We should be able to do. Plus, it's red. Hold on. Does it show on the map? Not Master Book. Hmm. Is that dungeon? Oh, it's just saying so cargo. Okay, cargo. Uh, temperatures drop to below zero at night. And that's why we fight freezing monsters. Okay, so this just marks that part of the map then. All right. Sorry if I hurt you. I need milk. TP. Think before you use your arts. I, I'm sorry. I don't even know why she even used nerves, really. Are you done already? New skill. Half damage. Yay. We can bring Patty back in. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we can now change that. Uh, let's see. 634. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Can I go past this? Hmm. No, I cannot. Okay. The problem is the spider. I can do. I can finally use one of the maps that I have. Oh. Can you die? 3,000? Hmm. Oh, she went into over the made Rita go into a hyper mode okay but what I wanted to do is see if it would let me use the mat even though we're about to approach the end I just want to kind of get accustomed to using it and I wanted some quick TP too all right let's go I have to start remembering that I have those, even if it doesn't heal Oof, as we're much. Finally here, I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. Yep, and um, which is why we took the quick way. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Uh oh, Garo's here. Kumor. I mean, yeah, that Easy guy. Now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? The, the, the desert? But while we're gone, the children. I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Do you mean Pharaoh? Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you Vermin to get aboard. Why does this remind me of, like, the, the Zions in Tales of Sophonia, where they would, like, take humans to the human ranch? Except they were doing some bad things in the human ranch. Now get moving this instant! It kind of reminds me of that. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is, just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we going to do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't going to listen to anything a princess would say. Nope. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... 
What are we doing? Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. Wait, are you gonna dress up like a girl? Okay. Never mind. I was like, wait, we can't do that. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. Sure. So you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than sluts. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kumor, everyone is aboard. Everyone except yourself. <coughs> what? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kumor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. It's definitely now when Gara was evil. You. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. Oh, did he knock the tires off? I mean, wheels, Fix not tires. Coach. I will find out who's responsible for this. I've got to hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yes, be gone. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. You're welcome. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Exactly, where I can save. The knights in this town. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. What are you gonna do, Yuri? Are you gonna like, murder him too? There's no way I'm following the captain after seeing that. But if I don't, I won't even be able to eat. What am I supposed to do? When my mom, back in my hometown, heard I became a knight, she was so happy. Uh, I wish I had been assigned to a respectable captain. Mm. Y'all have been lottering around here for a while. Keep it up and I'll touch you. To touch you? <laughs> I'll toss you all in the slammer. Listen to me and get out of this town. Who does that knight commander think he is? It's terrible. It's like they came here just to torture the townspeople. Even the way he talks makes me sick. One of these days, he's gonna make the wrong person mad. Like Yuri. The knights are supposed to protect the citizens, but just look at them. Isn't there somebody on the side of justice around here? Uh, maybe. The Red of the Sands of Kogoro. Kogoro. Gore. We didn't bump into that strange monster either. The traps in the desert had to be that creature's doing. I've never heard of a monster with that sort of ability. As I recall, when the creature vanished, a feather fell from the sky. A pharaoh's feather? Do you think there might be some connection? Perhaps it was a talisman to keep us on the right path. The feather was there. Getting lost could be related to the pharaoh after all. Hmm. Sir, standing in one place so long is difficult, sir. B but I won't get let up. I'll keep on observing with everything I've got, sir. Okay. I won't let even a single ant escape my sight, sir. Okay. Alrighty then. Hmm. Get out of my sight. Okay. Will do. So wait, are they over there? Okay, hold on. 
I've lost 10 pounds in just a few days. It's like a sauna in this armor. What do you say? How about joining our armor boot camp yourself? <laughs> okay. Kind of creepy. Hmm. It seemed like the knights wanted to take the townspeople somewhere. It makes you wonder if they're even here on official business. I'm thinking about getting out of this town as soon as I can. But now I hear there's some giant winged monster out there. Oh, it's so scary. Hmm. This assignment is such a nightmare. I muddled the fountain the other day. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just a fun little lie to pass the time. Hey, people drink that water. I wouldn't really do that. Maybe a captain would, but... Yeah, Kumar is not the sweetest person in the world. Okay, let's go this way. Your parents are here. Hey, kid. How is it going? Oh, it's you. Yay! Thank you for saving our mommy and daddy. Ah, shucks, kids. Twenty nothing. What are you getting all bashful for, old man? After all, we even got a reward for help helping them. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, it's you. Thanks, thanks so much for your help back there. Thanks to you, our children have someone to take care of them again. No, really. We hardly did anything. No, no, it's thanks to the precious water you shared with us that we were able to survive. Please take this as a token of our thanks for saving our lives. Ooh, miracle gel. Ooh, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's the least we could do. Thank you. A lot of thank yous going on. Here you go. Huh? This is important to you, right? You can have it back. But... Don't worry, your mom and dad already gave us something to thank us for helping them. We couldn't take your reward, too. That would be greedy. Uh, okay. See you later, okay? Hand over glass marble. I want to talk to them again. Nope, they disappeared. Damn it. Now I gotta go do wagon repair? Mm -hmm. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay. Well, it's not like we was took any part in that. Wasn't us. We didn't do nothing. Oh, you're the one that says sir all the time. Yeah. Um, should I see if I can buy stuff or wait until the next episode? Um. Wait a minute. This soldier's not moving at all. Maybe there's nobody even inside that armor. Just talking to myself. Oops, I forgot to speak to that other person. Okay, good. It didn't go straight into a cutscene. I wanted to speak to this guy. Why did our wagon break down? It's obvious. Someone tampered with it. Maybe we should round up the citizens and smoke the perpetrator out. Bring them on. We'll show them just how stupid it is to pay up the fight with the knights. Oh, there's a knight here too. You again? Look, you're being a pain. You want to get thrown in jail? Didn't you hear me? Stop being such a nuisance. Okay, and then that's the surveillance guy. Alright, so we go to save first. And we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.